Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a Prisma filter like this in the Spark AR Studio. At first we will create the Prisma filter without a LUT and then I will show you how you can also add a LUT to this filter. And of course you can download all the assets you need for this filter for free with the download link in the description below so you can follow the tutorial. So let's start! Hey again, so let's create this Prisma filter here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start creating the filter, please make sure you have downloaded all the assets we need for this filter. You can find them in the description, just click on the download link and then you will find this Dropbox page. Here just click on download and download the zip folder. So after you have downloaded, you will find the zip folder in your downloads folder. Just double click to unzip it and then you will find the folder with the four assets in it. So when you have successfully downloaded the assets we can start creating the filter. The first thing we have to do is yeah, to import our um, yeah, assets we have just downloaded but only three of them. We have to import the mask left.png, the mask right.png and then the prisma overlay. The lat.png we will include later on. So just select all three of those assets and then just drag and drop it into your assets panel. So after the import just make sure to select all three of the assets then go to the right hand side and set the compression to none. The next step we have to do is to extract the camera texture from the camera element in our scene. So for this go to the scene panel, click on the camera, go to the right hand side and then click here on texture extraction. Now you can find the camera texture also in the assets panel. Now the next step is to create free materials. So for this just go to your assets panel, click on the plus, go to material and create a material. I will call the first material cam. Then go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. So now we can just duplicate this material two times. The first material I will call mask left and the second material I will call mask right. So the next step is to set the, a texture for all our free materials. So for the cam the texture will be the camera texture, for the mask left the texture will be also the camera texture but then we have to activate the alpha. Just activate it and here for the texture choose the mask left. Now to the same for the mask right, select as texture the camera texture, um, activate the alpha but now just select the mask right. So now we are ready to create some objects in our scene. The first object we have to create is a rectangle object. I will call this rectangle object cam. Now you can see the rectangle in your scene but yeah it just covers a tiny um, friction of the screen but we want it to yeah, scale it to the screen so for this just select the cam rectangle go to the right hand side and set the width to fill width and the height to fill height so now go down to materials and select the cam as a material so this is not important now but it will be important later on when we add a lot to it so the next steps are important also when you don't add a lot to it. So for this we have to create two um, yeah, new rectangles but yeah, one at a time. So for this I also create a rectangle and now I will not set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. I will do here different, um, yeah, different numbers. So for this um, I will create a rectangle and call this um, yeah, mask left so we know which material belongs to which um, rectangle. So now we select the mask left, go to the right hand side and now at width and height we set it from fixed to relative. Now we can set the um, width to 150 and also the height to 150. So after we have done this we are going down to materials and here we select 
the mask left material and now you can already see something strange is going on so now here in the viewport you can see um, the rectangle and now you can play around with it so just drag and drop this rectangle and you will see that the yeah that the camera is splitting up and you now see yeah two faces this is the prisma effect we want to yeah to create so now we are doing this for the right side um, the same so go to your scene click on the little plus and create a rectangle i will rename this rectangle to mask right now again go to the right hand side and set the width and height to relative and then set the width to 150 and also the height to 150 but of course you can play around with those numbers until you're happy with the result so now go down to materials and then here select mask right and now just do the same um, yeah just drag and drop around the rectangle so do this until you are happy and then we can apply the overlay to it so the next step is that we want an overlay with some um, yeah colors for this go to your assets panel click on the plus and then select a new material i will call this material overlay now do the same as before set the shader type to flat and as a texture select the Prisma overlay texture. Now we can create a new rectangle um, in the scene and I will call this rectangle overlay. Now go to the right hand side and now just set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. Now select as material the overlay material but now you see yeah, the transparency is 100% and you can also see some blacks to change this Go to your assets bundle, click on the overlay, then go to the right hand side, down to the render options and here set the blend mode to screen. And now you will see the black is gone and then you can also play around with the opacity. And now you have successfully created yeah, a Prisma effect in the Spark AR Studio for your Instagram filters. And now you can of course play around here with the masks, with the position and also with the size so we can also set down the width to 110 and also the height to 110 just make sure it is the yeah same amount so the um, camera image doesn't get distorted so i do the same for the right so you see there will be a change in the size and then oh not 1000 100 and then i can also drag around this picture until i'm happy so yeah just test it on your device and send it back and forth so now when we have successfully created the prisma effect we can um, yeah add a lot to it so for this we have to open our patch editor first and then we have to import our LUT but this um, importing the LUT is not possible by drag and drop we have to go to our, to our assets bundle then go to import and here select color LUT now just select the LUT you want to include for this filter and then click on open. So now the LUT will be in the assets panel under color LUT. So this is re really important that you import the LUT yeah, with this way, with the import color LUT option. So now just drag the color LUT to your batch editor and you will find this orange color LUT shader patch which Spark AR automatically creates for us. Now. Go to your camera texture in your assets panel and also drag and drop it into your patch editor. Now you can connect the RGBA output of the camera texture with the texture input of the color LUT shader. Now we are going to our assets panel and select the three materials cam, mask left and also mask right. Now we are going to the, to the right hand side. Um, go to the shader properties to diffuse and next to texture where we have selected the camera texture is a little arrow now we are clicking on it and then um, yeah a yellow patch will appear in the patch editor but this is not one patch those are three patches overlaid because we have um, yeah, selected all three of the of the materials but of course you can do this for every single one separate so now we have just to connect the color LUT shader output to all three of the inputs of the 
masks and you can already see the change in the color here and now we have successfully applied a lot to this filter so yeah I hope I could help you with this tutorial to create a Prisma filter. If yes, give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!